Good morning, everyone. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning, and I thought I'd bring you guys along this morning to do morning chores with us. The barns are a mess because it snowed a lot the past few days, so we got a lot to clean up, and hope you guys are ready to join the fun. So last night we had a few calves born, and this right here is AC. She was my show heifer last year, and she gave us a beautiful Simital bull calf um, looks just like her, but he is such a big calf. She did a good job. First time mom, and she loves her baby, so. This is our barn set up here. We got a lot of cows and pens right now, and we also have another barn right over there, and then our straw stack. But pens need to be done today, calves need to be watered, so. We got a lot to do. So the first thing we have to do today is scrape the walk. Uh, we do this to clean all the manure off of it and all the ice and all the snow because the cows could slip and fall. And it just keeps them more clean and it's all about cleanliness here. So my brother right now is scraping the walk and we're waiting for my cousins to get here. So we have two tractors going, which makes it a whole lot faster. Here at the home farm we have the barn set up in three different areas really. Um, so we have our calving pens where we were this morning and then we have our calf pen with the mothers once they have their calf. And then we have the pregnant mother's pen just to keep them separated because Cows can have calves on the straw stack. We don't always catch them all that are gonna have birth. So we don't want them all to be together because then we could miss that calf. And also pregnant mothers tend to be a little bit more aggressive towards calves that aren't theirs. So we don't wanna mix them together because we could have a calf get hurt. We're just finishing up the walk here. You can see him piling the manure behind me and then we're gonna start bedding the straw stack because as you can see also behind me it is a disaster and all cows need a nice clean comfy place to lay down so while they're finishing up I'm just gonna walk around the straw stack and get all these cows that are laying down up and then check for babies
we got this fancy contraption a few years ago. I'm standing in the wrong spot, but it's called a bale spreader. And as you can see, it covers more area with one bale and it spreads it around more evenly than if we were to shake the bales up on the straw stack. So we use this every time we do bedding to get an even layer of straw on the straw stack so there's not too much and it doesn't get all worn out as fast as it usually does. some hay in here and they love this stuff because it's haylage and it's all fermented inside plastic and it's like candy to them so they really really like it so we finished the first barn at home and now we are heading to our second location where we have more cows and calves up there. We have most of our bulls all in pens here and put away for the winter. So here we have Goose. <laughs> we have Slider. We have Viper. And Cougar. And we have a few more. They are just 
at the other location at the feedlot where they are kept because we can only fit four here. So now we have to do bull chores and then clean the walk out there for the cows, water the bulls, and do some more bedding. Over in this pen over here, we have our replacement heifers. And as you can see, they are all <laughs> very, very friendly this year. And these girls will all be bred this summer to one of our bulls. Bulls are fed, working on getting them watered because the hose is frozen apparently. And right now the guys are working on bedding the calving pens here. Here is set up kind of differently. It's a lot easier, as you can see, to bed with the tractor and not having to do it by hand. So it's just must e much easier that way to bed and kick cows out, get cows in, depends. So that's what they're doing. And then we gotta bed all the pens behind us, all the sheltered areas for the cows. It's also set up the same here. We have the cows that haven't had calves yet over here, separated from the cows that have calves. So there's no fighting and issues with that. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's having some fun over there. It's their first time out of their pens, so they're experiencing all the open space to run around in. second barn and we're just feeding the cows right now they get corn silage and they love that stuff so we're just letting the feeders run gonna make sure the bulls get watered still and then I'm not too sure if we have to go to the feedlot or not but I'm not sure We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> so it looks like we don't have to go to the feedlot. My brother and my cousin are headed up there right now to do some bedding and feed the cows there. So I'm not gonna make it there by the time they are done. So with that being said, this is the end of morning chores and it's only actually 11 o'clock and we did a lot today and in a short amount of time. So. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I really hope you all enjoy seeing how we do things here on the farm. So with that being said, please subscribe and like the video. It really helps my channel. So thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye.